Hey guys, how's it going? Mike here. Today I've got something really awesome for you. So I'm here in Lawrenceville. It's a little cloudy today, but we still have some light out here and we're going to be checking out that gorgeous RV-10. Completed airplane ride behind me. Uh, we're going to talk to the owner and ask a few questions so you guys stay tuned. If you're not already familiar with this airplane, it's made by Vans. It is an experimental airplane. And this is the four-seater. Uh, Vance has quite a few uh, other airplane models, and this is one of the big boys. If you want a four-seater, you can get your family, your friends in this one. And this is a kit. You basically buy the kit and you build one yourself. We're going to be talking to Bill shortly. I just want to take you guys around the airplane first. You got your baggage compartment here pretty big how much uh, how much load can you get in here a hundred pounds a hundred pounds. pounds I think that's more than enough for the average pilot let me go around and uh, I'll show you the interior in a little bit see for a while there I've always watched just videos of this airplane and just right now seeing it in person amazing it's actually even bigger bigger in person than what I've seen in the videos if you stay from behind here this looks like a Cirrus from behind here but no it's not a Cirrus it costs a fraction of what you would pay for SR22 but you get just about the same amount of performance if not more with this airplane so you've got two big wide open doors, one here and one on the uh, the passenger side. And as Bill just showed me to get into this airplane, you've got a footstep here. So one foot here, you hold this here, that pulls you up, and then you step right there. And before I go in, just gonna show you really quickly. I believe this airplane is equipped with a Garmin G3X Touch and this airplane is fully IFR certified. Very neat job in here. Okay. He went with the cloth seat, which I would go with anyway, because leather gets hot and it adds a lot more weight to the uh, to the airplane from what I've heard. As you can see. Pretty spacious interior here. You see the leg room. Got a pretty uh pretty good leg room in here. And then back there goes your luggage compartment. Alright, let's get in and see. Okay, so from what I was showing, you put a foot in here, put your butt against the seat, and then you hold this bar. Okay. And then you put your other foot in, and then you can sit. All right, I am in the airplane, and as you see in my other videos, I always talk about the comfort in every airplane I get into, okay? First of all, you get in this airplane, everything around the pilot is pretty much soft touch. These seats are very comfortable. So here, pretty neat setup. You've got your ignition standard stick. You've got your uh, your power prop mixture, and you can tell these just by the colors. Usually, this is your throttle here. This is your prop to adjust your prop blade, and this is your mixture. Okay, guys, I'm in the back seat, and there's so much room in here. Look, this is my this is my legs. I'm not even touching the seat in front of me. Again, I'm 5'10". For someone taller. I believe you can still sit very comfortably in here. Uh, very spacious interior, honestly. And I'm not even sitting all the way back because I have the seat belt behind me. But if I were to rest even further, this airplane can haul four people. Four grown adults, easy. Okay, and again, just as plush and, and comfortable the front seats are, the back seats are the same. What even made you decide to build your own airplane in the first place? I always wanted to build an airplane from a kid. I thought it would be a retirement project, but uh, 
hit middle ages, and I think instead of buying a sports car, I decided to buy a plane kit. Wow, okay. And uh, what pilot certification do you currently hold? I'm a private pilot with instrument ratings. Okay, awesome. Now, this is an experimental airplane. Um, how long did it take you to build, and did you have any help, or did you do this mostly by yourself? Um, I did it mostly by myself. I had maybe 100 hours worth of help from other local builders or my wife, a little from my kids. <laughs> okay. uh, but uh, it took 2,700 hours over three years, wow. so about 900 hours a year uh, to build it. Wow, okay. And you told me earlier that you've actually owned this airplane now for about four years? It's been completed just over four years. Wow. And in that four years, how often do you usually fly uh, each year? I usually fly about every other weekend, uh, and then four or five trips a year, long distance trips, like to Denver from Atlanta or uh, Florida. Wow, okay, so you, 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 you fly quite, quite a bit. Now, for the audience and people watching, who would you say this airplane is for? Because when you think of when you made the decision to build this specific model, what did you think of like what your typical mission would be if you're going to be carrying passengers things like that um family that likes to go places uh it holds four people well not not four adults and baggage and full fuel but four adults and minimal baggage or two adults and two kids with a lot of baggage uh okay. and it can go about a thousand miles so it really opens up most of the country uh to even a day trip okay uh, and at the speed it goes Compared to a Cessna, it goes about, well, 40 knots faster than an old Cessna, 20 knots faster than a new Cessna. Wow. Uh, it really lets you, you go just about anywhere that even South Florida can be a, a weekend trip instead of a, a week trip. Awesome. Now, can you tell us just a little bit about the airplane, what you have on the hood, uh, your avionics, uh, things you put into this airplane? Yeah, um, well, it's got a Lycoming IO540 uh, engine. Uh, an Arctal prop. The avionics are the D3X system uh, with a Garmin 650 IFR rated GPS uh, and Garmin transponder. And uh, put in flight line interior, interior seat covers and carpeting. Those, those look really neat. Uh, I like them. Yeah. I noticed. I don't know if this particular model does it come with a parachute option or is that something you thought about or you'd never even gave that a thought? It doesn't come with a factory option but it being experimental you can do anything you want. There is one RV10 that has uh, the same parachute as a Cirrus on it oh, wow. uh, that was custom done by by the builder. Okay. But, uh, is that something that you 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 I care about? I contemplated or? it just a little when I saw this other builder do it, um, but decided that the 100 pounds uh, was not worth it and that these things stall at 52, 53 That's knots, amazing. Um, with the full flaps. So even an off-field landing is very survivable. Typically crews lean of peak at a 10 gallons per hour and 168 knots. Wow. Uh, if you want to burn 14 gallons an hour, then you can, uh, you can get it up to 178 probably. That's in amazing. A cruise, but uh, it's a lot better for fuel economy to, to lean it out. And let us know what are your future plans uh, in flying in general. Do you plan on building another airplane or? So, someday I hope to build another airplane. My wife says I have to have own a hangar uh, before I can build another one. She didn't like the garage <laughs> being gone for a year. Uh, but uh, do plan on someday, probably waiting until retirement uh, to build another plane. Maybe a two-seater at that point because I won't have kids. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> and uh, plan on traveling and uh, enjoying the airplane. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Bill.